I think one of the big differences of trying to find a, between trying to find a job here and trying to find a job somewhere else in another state, another city, or whatnot, is the network. So your number one priority in that instance would be to establish a network. Of I was looking at Washington, D.C. to see if I could go make work for a firm up there. And I knew absolutely nobody. I started sending out emails to everyone I knew. And everyone is extremely willing to help you out. Um, it doesn't matter if they've known you for, as I said, two days or 20 years. Uh, they probably view it as paying it forward. Uh, that's the general mentality that I've gotten. You know, because somebody helped them get where they are now. So they're trying to do the same thing with you. Uh, the first thing I would do, I'd get in touch with the alumni organization here. And I would say, I'm thinking about moving to City A you know, to Washington, D.C., do we have an alumni group up there? And if they've got some type of alumni connection up there, get in touch with them, say, I'm a TCU, I'm graduating, at, you know, this month, I'm going to be moving up there, I just wanted to put out my feelers and figure out if you do have any job openings or if you have any connections, and utilize that alumni association. And there are a number of alumni groups, not just in Texas, but, you know, California, you know, Oklahoma, all across the country. So. Just go to the alumni organization, tell them where you're looking to move, and see if they've got a group up there, and then reach out to that group and see if they can offer any kind of uh, help to you. You've got to make a conscious effort to stay in front of people. If you don't make it intentional, you won't do it, because you'll get wrapped up in the real world and you'll forget about it, and maybe you'll move away a little bit. So first off, contact the alumni association. They're great. They've got a bunch of different organizations involved, I guess, uh, different interest groups, and then make it a conscious effort to stay in front of people. Get to know your coworkers really well. Um, you know, ask them their background, where they came from, what their aspirations are. Let them know what yours are. Tell them, you know, I love this job. I'd like to be here a couple of years, but my goal is to X. Get to know those people and your boss as well. You know, everybody thinks, oh, it's your boss. Like your boss is your friend. He wants you to succeed because it makes him look good. And so, getting to know the people that you work with, I would say, is very important as well. And there are other organizations like the Young Professional Chamber of Commerce. Everybody is there to network, uh, so they're in the exact same position as you are. And there are other similar interest groups. You meet so many people that way, and they are young professionals just like you are.